Hello guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. We all know that Instagram are thriving with reels of different kinds and vibes lately. So, I am here today with a new video on how to create a bubble wart effect in your reels and in your shorts. So, let's begin. The first and the major step is to get the clips required for your edit and importing it into the composition layer. This is my main layer and the above given bike is my main object. Keeping the bike as my main object, I am going to create the effect. Now let's duplicate the clip either by pressing Command D or Ctrl D where Command D is for Mac and Ctrl D is for Windows respectively. And let's rename the duplicated clip as Top Layer. Now we have to crop the bike alone from the image above. And for this, either we can use the pen tool, which is a bit time consuming, or we can use roto brush tool. Once you start using the roto brush tool, make sure that the resolution is maximized so that you can get the expected output quality and clarity. Now double tap the screen and mask the bike with the help of the tool. What it does is, it creates a separate composition so that we can use the roto brush tool. So we can just simply brush around our object for selection. I am doing it roughly because I don't have enough time. If you want the uh, final output, you need to spend some time on it. Make sure that the edges are covered perfectly once you have done that make sure that your keyframe is set at first first keyframe and click on freeze so let us wait uh, for that to complete now let us close the composition layer and it kind of looks like this if you make it more accurately, you can get rid of those grass. Now what we can do is, we can duplicate our top layer and place it in between the top layer and the main layer and uh, let us rename it as FX. Once you have finished renaming, we can add an effect called Turbulent Displays to our FX layer. Once you have finished adding the effect, uh, set the keyframe to 1 and uh, we can adjust, adjust the amount, size and complexity and evolution uh, to our needs. For, for my case, I am going to set the amount to about 750 and size to 38. If you increase the size, um, uh, it kind of looks like this. But for in my case, I'm going to make it uh, keep it in as 38, and let us make the complexity uh, to 3.7 and evolution to 20. Once you have finished uh, doing this, what we can it kind of looks like this, but the effect is not moving with, with our clip. If you want to make the effect move with our clip, what we need to do is, uh, we, we can uh, go to the keyframes for this effect. We can copy these keyframes. And we can paste it at the end of our clip. So, it uh, follows our clip the effect follows our clip so what what we can do is we can adjust the 
அமௌண்ட் சைஸ் அண்ட் கம்ப்ளெக்சிட்டி அண்ட் எவல்யூஷன் ஃபார் அவர் லாஸ்ட் கீ ஃப்ரேம்ஸ் for my case i'm going to keep the amount as 950 and size to 14 and complexity to 1.1 i am just increasing the size and decrease i'm just increasing the amount and decreasing the size and decreasing the evolution and decreasing the complexity as you can see that the effect follows our clip and follows our object now we what we can do is we can add another keyframe at the middle of our clip and set it to 64 so what it does is it gives the contraction and uh, expand expansion effect it expands and then contracts which looks cool you can adjust the middle frame middle keyframe as per your needs now we have finished making the bubble wrap effect for the final touch we can add another effect called uh, vr glow or we can add glow glow to our glow to our player glow to our effect so what it makes is it gives you it highlights the effect for example in my case i am going to keep the color a to blue sorry color b to blue i am going to make it little bit darker little bit darker so as you can see that our uh, effect has light blue accents and i'm going to increase the decrease the threshold chaiyets our uh, effect so after you are after you have finished adding the glow it kind of looks this looks like this which kind of looks cool So finally what we can do is we can duplicate our main layer and uh, we can use our pen tool and we can select the bottom bottom of the vehicle so that the effect won't uh, come at the bottom which looks awkward after you finished making you can see that none of the effect is place at the bottom of the bottom of our vehicle so that's it for the video guys if you want more contents and ideas like this do follow me on instagram and please do subscribe my channel thank you